What's up you guys, Calvin here, and welcome back to my channel, where today we are doing another, yet another, reaction video. Now, I didn't actually expect to make a video on this person in specific, but after returning to their Instagram page, I, I determined that it's a video that needs to be made. Now, unlike most of my reaction videos, this person actually started all of their issues with me. This video would not be being made if the period prince had not initiated the beef between them and I. Now, I'm using them pronouns because truly, if I was gonna, you know, if I was gonna instinctually use a pronoun, it wouldn't be he. So, I'm not gonna be rude and say she, I'm gonna say they, but you'll see what I mean. So, I'm just gonna start off by reading you guys the post that they started about me, just so that you guys can kind of get a feel for uh, who the period prince is, so. I am a transgender and non-binary. There's been a lot of gatekeeping, infighting, and non-binary phobia in the comment sections lately, so as someone who teaches about gender, works in reproductive justice, aka bodily autonomy, holds a degree in gender and sexuality theory, and is a living, breathing, non-binary trans person, let me set some things straight for those of you like Calvin Guerra. I didn't know who the fuck this person was. I had never talked to this person in my life. I'd never even fucking seen their page until they fucking posted this about me. Who give our community a bad name and think promoting violence is okay. So that, that's where they mentioned me. The post is longer, but we're gonna get to that. But I decided to take to the period Prince's Instagram and, and get a feel for who Cass really is, and I was shocked. I guess I shouldn't be that shocked because, like, seeing this type of thing does not even, like, phase me anymore. I mean, it definitely used to phase me when I was like, holy fucking shit, these people exist in the world. But, um, don't phase me no fucking more, so let's get on to the Instagram. And you, I think, you know, me and Cass could have been great friends, but Cass, you, uh, you fucked that up, buddy. You, you decided to make a post about me when I have no fucking clue who you are, and it turns out we even live in the same state. I think that we should meet up and hang out. Maybe I'll, I'll come to one of your shows one day. I think that would be super fun, but yeah, let's, let's just get into these posts. So as you can see, I have many tabs open because going through their Instagram, I was very moved and intrigued by a lot of their posts, so. This is their, their first post ever, and it says, I stand with menstruators of all genders. If you guys didn't know, I actually did an Instagram campaign with Lunette Cup. It's basically like a menstruation cup. I don't get my period anymore, but I'm a trans guy, so I used to when I was not on testosterone, and I fucking hated it. It was the worst fucking shit ever, and I literally went on testosterone, and it fucking stopped, and it was the greatest shit ever, but I know there's a lot of pre-T trans guys out there who still get it, and... Here's the thing about it though, talking about this stuff, it's like one of the biggest causes of dysphoria for trans people, like having your monthly shark week as I like to call it, is literally just that reminder that your body internally is female. It sucks for trans people so fucking much. This this person's entire brand is actually like so triggering to so many trans people and makes us look so fucking ridiculous. So I stand with menstruators of all genders. I mean, I, I'm obviously I'm trans, so I'm going to, but like, why are you glorifying this? Like this is dysphoric for so many fucking kids out there. So in this next post, we can see her first appearance of Tony the Tampon. I didn't, I didn't know it first when I was going through this, but Cass kind of carries around this fucking tampon with googly eyes on it and calls it Tony the Tampon. And we're gonna see a couple more cameos. Outtakes by Tony the Tampon. You'd be surprised how many- Oh, I, I've never heard this person talk in my life and I'm, I'm honestly betting you. And this is just me being a dick and I'm, I'm, if you don't like it when I'm a dick in my videos, do not watch this one because I'm, I'm actually going to be a dick in this video just because- Cass started a shit ton of drama for absolutely no fucking reason. You're f fucking weird, first of all. That's just weird, and I don't understand what- I, I could not fathom seeing someone walking around DC just holding a tampon with googly eyes. I would take out my Snapchat and film it and just laugh. I just- I honestly have no words for this. This is just- <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I, this is what I was gonna say. I've never heard their voice before, but I'm like a 98.3% sure that they have the voice. If you know, you know. Happy Trans Day of Visibility from my tampon to yours. <laughs> or no, me and my tampon to you. Hashtag menstruation matters. <laughs> when your new business cards come in, hashtag period geek. <laughs> Tony the tampon, Cass Clemmer, Clemmy, creator and educator. Creative period education for all menstruators. And so then I discovered that Tony the tampon actually has an Instagram with 7,000 followers. 
it's it's really so unbelievable at this point, and it really just makes me so enraged, but also just cringe, like, oh, why are you carrying around a tampon with googly eyes? I'm gonna start fucking carrying around a goddamn Mountain Dew bottle with, with googly eyes, or a fucking fake dick, I don't know. The thing I hate most about this uh, has to be the fact that, like, trans people, I know that, like, we need more trans activism. It's, it's really important, and I'm one of those people that, like, as much as I shit on the trans community for stupid shit like this, I'm an activist for trans rights, obviously I'm trans myself, but like, when it comes to period, like, education, period inclusivity, things like that, stop fighting for, like, the extremes, like, putting tampons in the men's bathroom, like, doing this, that, and the other, like, I mean, that's just a reach, you know what I mean? Like, that's really not gonna happen. I think the first important thing that needs to happen that's gonna benefit fucking everybody that gets shark week, menstruation, whatever, is for free period products, put them in the women's bathroom or maybe even outside of the bathrooms. Like t public restrooms usually have like a place between two. Put them there, but I personally believe that these products should be free. They're pr pretty much necessary for trans guys who menstruate and women who menstruate. Like they're important for trans men and women. Like they should be free. Like we should focus on that rather than this. My dashboard decor is cooler than yours. I want you to imagine the scene, okay? You're calling up your Uber, you need to go to some bitch's house, you're trying to pipe tonight, I don't fucking know, I mean, that's the situation I would be in, but... You get in the Uber, and it's it's Cass. And they're like, hey, how are you doing tonight? <laughs> and you're like, I'm pretty good, how about you? I'm doing really great, um, what do you think of my new dashboard thing? And I'd be like, oh, cool. <laughs> and that's when I get on my phone and pretend like I'm on the phone for the rest of the ride. This one really cringed me because for somebody that claims to be, you know, so, so trans and so non-binary, drinking rosé in the woods, like the hashtag basic butch I am. Hashtag trans boy. You want to know something? I've literally never met a trans, trans guy, even a, tra a trans non-binary, trans masculine person that, that would literally call themselves a butch. Like, what the fuck are you doing? This is the iconic picture. This, this is the one that made them famous. Periods are not just for women. Hashtag bleeding while trans. I just want you guys to imagine another scene. You're walking down the road in DC. You just saw the monument. You've been in the fucking museums. And you see a bunch of cameras. You're like, oh shit, I'm trying to be on the fucking news. So you walk over and you see this. Again, I'd open my Snapchat. I'd be like, y'all will not fucking believe what the hell is going on in motherfucking DC today. Y'all know I'm trans and queer, and what that means for me all around is something that's neither there nor here. <laughs> it's a happy, scary middle ground. So when I talk gender inclusion and I wrote these rhymes to help you see I'm not trying to be something shallow, periods are honestly pretty- Okay, I just- Dude, if, if periods are traumatic for you, stop talking about them. It's It will help, I promise. Like, if you're dysphoric about it, then stop at least- Stop calling it a period. Call it Shark Week. I don't. I don't know. Like that. You're not even trying to help yourself on not being dysphoric. But don't worry, you guys. A big twist is coming soon, and then another twist. This is a crazy fucking story. You guys are. You guys gotta keep watching this right now. It's crazy. All right. So this one I decided to include because because I just thought it would be hilarious, and I'm I'm fucking reading the future right now. I'm fucking thinking the future right now. They said to the trolls, do y'all really think that hundreds of thousands of transphobic comments, emails, Im messages, and threats of violence from random people on the internet is going to stop me from being who I am and fighting for gender inclusion within the menstrual health movement? Hun, I spent years getting to where I am now, and believe me, I've survived much worse. I'm placing $300 in the bet now. That even though Cass says, oh, I, I am, fuck the trolls, I don't, I'm not fucking scared. They are somehow going to have this video taken down. Somehow they're gonna fucking call up some goddamn company that they work with and they're gonna be like, I know I said that I'm strong, I know I said that I take the trolls, but this kid right here, this, this 18 year old kid, I need this video taken down. I, I need it taken down. They're gonna be like, bro, it's, it's one video. Like, who, who the fuck cares? I, I, I just need it taken down. I, I can't, I can't, I can't have it up there, bro. And I'm gonna be like, you're a pussy, 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 pussy. I also decided to include this one just because I'm an asshole, I'm a petty bitch. Uh, when marathon training takes you past the White House, you learn to run with two middle fingers up straight up in the air. Hear me out. I hate Trump as much as you do. I really do. I fucking hate Trump. I think he's unprofessional. I just, I don't think he's a good president. But can you guys just imagine, you're, you're walking through D.C. Nice stroll. You got your camera out taking some, some cool pictures of your girlfriend in front of the monuments or something. 
and you see this. Fuck Trump! Fuck Trump! <laughs> Periods are for everyone! <laughs> Again, my Snapchat would be lit that day. It would be a great fucking day for Calvin Garrett's Snapchat. This is where the story really begins, though. Cass does something unexpected, something none of us thought that they would do. Tuesday didn't quite work out the way it was supposed to, and everything got delayed by a day, but yesterday, I finally gave myself my first tee shot! The period fucking prince was like, guys, it's, it, I have to stop my period. They went on tea. If you didn't know this about testosterone, it stops your period. How? How will they survive? It's time, time to figure it out. Let's talk about chests. I'm a 32B slash C, which is on my smaller frame, takes a whole lot of binding to flatten. I still have a visible chest, depending on the shirts I wear, which is one of the primary reasons I get misgendered throughout the day. Earlier this summer, I was asked at a gay men's bar whether I was a girl or a boy and if I had boobs. <sighs> I hate that word. When I snarkily snapped back, this inebriated fellow thought it was appropriate to grab my boob through my binder, declare, Oh, so you're a girl? Hashtag boobies. Sexual assault is never okay. It's fucked up. Should not happen. Men are shit. But it's, it's when you say, I snarkily snapped back. Why couldn't you just, just been really nice and said, oh, I'm a trans guy or I'm a trans masculine person in the process of transitioning. I don't know if he did that and I don't know the full story, but literally there was no reason. I mean, unless the guy was being rude, there's just no reason for you to be snarky. Just fucking explain it. It's not your fault that you got sexually harassed. That's fucked up and it shouldn't happen to anyone. But like, I, I can just imagine the situation. All right, that's all I'm going to say. Here's another example of our favorite trans boy, B-O-I, Cass, calling their self a basic butch. Once again, you can never be too picky when selecting the type of wood to use to build a box for your testosterone. Also, if you all didn't know already, I'm a bit of a dyke. This one is where we begin the downfall of Cass's medical transition. This is when the Cass starts to realize <laughs> maybe I'm um, not actually suited for testosterone. Being taken as a boy isn't my favorite thing. My ideal goal is to muddle the false borders between man and woman, forcing people to rethink their notions of gender. I know this is a really upsetting concept for you to understand, but in today's society, right now, in this day and age, 99% of people are gonna fucking assume. They're gonna pick one or the other, and you single-handedly cannot be mad at people for choosing one or the other. What you can do is choose which side of the spectrum you are comfortable with, you decided to go on testosterone, also known as the male hormone. So, um, two, it's two plus two equals five. Why would you go on testosterone if you didn't want to be gendered as male? That's my question for the day. This is when the plot thickens. We learn a little bit more about Cass's gender medical transition uh, when, when they say, the only reason I would want facial hair would be for a queer performance to fuck around with gender, but I want nothing to do with it on the day to day. Well, testosterone will give you facial hair. I love shaving my legs and armpits, but testosterone has made my hair grow back thicker, faster, and darker than I would want. Um, yeah, because testosterone gives you body hair. My voice change, though intriguing to observe, like, it, like it's some like fun science experiment, is also something that I could have lived without. I feel like testosterone has made me sound like a stranger to myself. The, the point of testosterone is to make yourself not sound like a stranger to yourself. When, when you actually have dysphoria and you go on testosterone, you fucking end up feeling better about yourself. You don't feel worse about your voice. So this is, this is a recipe for disaster already. This picture is just gross. Like, you were like, I'm gonna fucking put my goddamn period blood on my fucking fingers, bro. What? Were you just like fucking fingering yourself and like getting it on? Like, Ugh. Always bloody yours, the period parents. More period pictures, wow. The plot thickens. As a non-binary person, I didn't do tea for the low voice. As if, literally, the biggest change of tea is your voice, so. And it has dropped so sig significantly that I wonder about my own singing ability and if I will ever be able to sing like I did before. No, you're never gonna have your voice high again. I've broken down crying about my voice at more than one occasion. My biggest struggle with testosterone is that I can't choose what changes come with it and what I don't. Knowing that tea permanently changes your voice by thickening your vocal cords scares the shit out of me. This is me genuinely feeling bad for you. Um, so this, what you're describing right here, this is dysphoria. 
feeling like a stranger to your own voice, feeling breaking down, crying about your voice, not liking your voice anymore, being terrified that your vocal cords are changing. That that's that's called dysphoria, and that's what happens when people who don't have a male brain go on testosterone. Here we go, guys. This is my face one month off of testosterone. So this is a pretty long post. I'm going to, you know, sum it up a little bit here. When I started T, the doc gave me a list of the permanent changes and the reversible changes. So I know you definitely got on it with fucking informed consent after four months of being out as trans. That's the first problem. Letting me know that no one can completely predict exactly how the hormone... You, you can predict, though. Your voice is going to get deeper. You're going to get more body hair. Your period will probably stop after probably around three to eight months, longer or shorter, depending on who you are. And in a general sense, you're going to start looking and sounding and just feeling like a male. That's, that's, that's what's going to happen when you go on tea, basically. Hair growth and voice change were the parts I was most concerned with, which happened to be two of the more prominent changes on tea. Then you shouldn't have fucking gone on tea. Like, never. Then they go on about their health insurance, which I understand it's expensive to transition, and I totally get that, but then they say that sobering fact was combined with the accelerated changes my body was experiencing at a pace I was not prepared for when I began. As a non-binary person, I experience equal discomfort when I am gendered as a man as when I am gendered as a woman. I am neither. Blah, 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 blah. No, you shouldn't have gone on tea. It was really fucking stupid of you to go on tea when you didn't want a deeper voice, you didn't want body hair. You should not have gone on fucking testosterone. That's the end of the story. Am I queer? I don't know. And this is just the cringy part. This is just... <sighs> yes, we know you're queer. We, we know. We are aware. We have seen it a million times. We know. Who's here to talk about my pussy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to talk about your pussy. Unlike some trans folks, I don't have any bottom dysphoria related to having a vagina, vulva, and clit. <laughs> I would never want bottom surgery, but it has been interesting. Again, interesting, as if transitioning is just some, like, fun thing to watch. I think you're making a mistake. <laughs> if you have absolutely no discomfort around your genitals and, and your trans, like, I don't really understand that. Like... I understand not having discomfort as in you don't want to get surgery because the results of the surgery aren't exactly what you would want, but like, if you're telling me that you have absolutely no dysphoria, you would rather not wake up with a dick, you'd rather just have a fucking whatever the fuck it is, I don't believe you're trans, truly, I don't, I just don't, I don't believe that you're transgender. I think that like, any actual fucking trans masculine person, if they could wake up with a dick the next morning, they would, even if they don't want bottom surgery at all, even if, you know, from a day to day they don't have dysphoria, they would just rather wake up with a dick. I just, that's, you're weird. You're fucking, you're, you fucked up. You fucked up. <laughs> I am a proud, transgender, non-binary, pansexual, depressed, anxious, flamboyant, insecure, artistic, sporty, boundary-busting, socially awkward. We know. Musically inclined, gender performing, suicide surviving, medicine taking, sex loving, abortion funding, period taboo smashing, creative clumsy, perfectionist queer, cat parenting, goddamn fucking prince. <laughs> Hashtag fuck the trolls. When you make it to the stall in the men's room, change your pad and have to wait until the coast is clear to throw away your used pad. You want to know the really simple sol solution to this? Don't go in the men's bathroom. Someone literally said, get your dirty fingers off my flag. <laughs> so I know that Ben Shapiro reacted to a video by, by the period prince, but I can't really seem to find the original video. I didn't click on Ben's video. I just need to hear the voice. I need to hear the voice. When I find my cycle is a struggle in yes! my Fuck yeah! Calvin, plus one point. Streaming wisdom. <laughs> Let us bleed. But though I may be just a piece 
bathrooms are the death of me. I didn't get to see the full thing, but I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Cass, um, please, Bill, I'm asking, I'm really asking you, please, reform. Like, please, just do something else. I, oh my god. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for sending me this. It really made my day. Really. I need to get off the internet. I need to get up in. Alright, good night everyone. I <laughs> love you guys. Bye. But won't you wait?